parents and carers, my name is Emma and I'm a Stay Safe Officer at Lincolnshire County Council. This video has been created to give you some information about how to go about setting up parental controls on Apple iOS devices using family sharing. You can add up to five people to your family group. The type of things you'll be able to do via these controls include limiting access to apps and inappropriate content, controlling ability to make in-app purchases and viewing and managing your child's screen time, for example. Setting up parental controls. When you are linked to your child's account, you will then be able to begin setting up parental controls. Just a reminder, these can be accessed via settings and clicking on family, which is underneath your child's name at the top of the screen, then selecting your child's name. You should then see a screen like this, which is your child's family sharing page. The family sharing menu options are as follows. First, we have Apple ID and password. Here you can check your child's Apple ID email address and change their Apple ID account password. On clicking change child's password, you'll be prompted to enter your phone passcode to verify that it's you making the change and you will then be invited to reset their password. Underneath on the menu, you will see parents slash guardians. Clicking parents slash guardians allows you to see the adults in your Apple family group who are able to create child accounts, manage children's parental controls and receive requests for more screen time and purchases. Going back to the menu, screen time will allow you to set up the majority of parental controls available and view a weekly report to gain an insight into your child's screen time habits. In this section, you'll be able to set content and privacy restrictions to restrict explicit content purchases and downloads, set a downtime schedule and app time limits, ensuring time away from the screen for your child, and manage your child's screen time from your own device using a passcode. The first time you click on screen time, Apple will effectively walk you through setting up various controls. You can decide to revisit these controls via your child's family sharing menu uh, to set them up, or you can make adjustments later. I'm going to take you through the screen time parental control options now. Screen time. Going back to the menu, you will find screen time. Click on screen time and select turn on screen time. You'll be invited to set up age restrictions for various Apple services. Press turn on restrictions to do this. You can deny access to content or choose an appropriate age rating for your child. If your child will be a user of Apple Media, for example, Apple Music, you can choose for them to only have access to clean rather than explicit versions of songs. You can also limit access to adult websites on Safari web browser, enable or disable the use of Siri web search and disallow your child to delete apps. This can be set up or amended later by clicking on content and privacy restrictions, followed by store, web, Siri and game center content in the parental control screen time settings. You will then be asked if you want to turn on communication safety. This helps protect your child's account from sensitive photos. The Apple Messages app can detect nude photos before they are sent from or viewed on your child's device and provide age appropriate resources to help them make safe choices. Apple is unable to access the photos. You can learn more about this by clicking on learn more about communication safety. Set time away from screens, downtime. On this screen, you can set a schedule for your child to take some time away from their screen, for example, at bedtimes. To access more screen time and use restricted apps during these hours, your child will require your permission. Apple then invites you to set daily time limits for apps and websites. When your child reaches a certain length of time on apps, they will be required permission from you to continue using them. Finally, you will be asked to choose a screen time passcode that you will use so you can grant your child more time on apps or make any amendments to your parental control settings. If you do not wish to set any of these up initially or you wish to adjust any settings, they are all available in the screen time section of the parental control settings. That's all from me on Apple Family Sharing. For further support with Apple Controls, I would recommend visiting the Apple Support website. Their guide for setting up family sharing is titled 
Use parental controls on your child's iPhone or iPad and that is available online. For any other online advice and step-by-step -step guides on how to set up parental controls for various devices, games and apps, I would also strongly recommend internetmatters.org. They have a lot of information about online issues, guides, resources and advice for young people, parents, carers and schools. Thank you very much for joining me for this video. I do hope you found it helpful.